Hello, I'm Daniel Watrous. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a Jing tutorial. Jing, if you haven't heard of it yet, is a very low cost product provided by TechSmith. That's the same company that makes Camtasia Studio. Jing, on the other hand, rather than costing $300 for a license, costs only $15 per year. Now, there are some limitations, but I think you'll find that they're pretty slim. So, what we'll do is in Google, and some people may not know this, but there's a way to modify your search settings. So if you were to search for Peach Jam, and you do a search, Google's going to pull up the first 10 results. But if you go into search settings here, and tell it to show you a certain number of results. In order to set the number of results, you'll notice that it says this option is unavailable when using Google Instant. So if you go up one setting, you'll notice that it says Google Instant, do not use, and then you can change this to show 20 results. Choose Save Preferences, and after clearing the message, you come back and you type in Peach Jam. Well, now you'll notice that rather than just 10 results, it lists out 20 results. So now let's learn how to make a tutorial with this information based on Jing. To begin with, you go to TechSmith, dot com slash jing or you can go to jingproject.com once you've downloaded jing you'll notice the little sun this is the little sun right here and it just hugs one of these top corners when you put your mouse over it you'll see that it gives you three options a more option which is where you can configure the settings history and capture so first let's go into more and we'll just double check a couple of things one is you can check the preferences and you can define the video format. You want it to be MPEG-4. Your audio input, make sure you select this on purpose, especially if you have more than one microphone. You can double check the rest of these settings, but once you're done and you've got all of these things set how you'd like it, you click the finish button. And then to capture, you've got a couple of options. One is to click the capture window and just drag it to select some region on your screen. That's not what we're going to do. I'm going to show you another trick, and that is that Jing, if you hold the Shift key when you click, you'll notice that it shows you certain regions. It snaps to those regions. And so this is keeping the aspect ratio at 16 by 9. Okay. Now, you can, you can do other things as well, but that's a good aspect ratio because it's HD and it happens to be the aspect ratio that YouTube uses and that people are starting to expect. Now, there's another way to do that, and it's to select an entire window. And so you'll notice that I've chosen Google Chrome for my tutorial. And the reason I've chosen Google Chrome is because there isn't a lot of junk around the browser. You'll notice that different than Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer, there isn't a menu. All you get is the web page itself. And I've installed a plugin here called Resize Window and set one of my resize settings to 1280 by 720. So as soon as I click that, I know that my browser is the right size. And you'll notice that no matter what size it starts as, I come in here and I say HD browser and it'll set it right back to 1280 by 720. Well now, if I click Capture and select around the entire window and get just the region I want. Okay, so now what I would do is I would click on Capture Video and it gives me a little countdown and now it's recording. So I'd come back and I'd say, this is Google. What I'd like to show you today is how to change the number of viewable results in your Google search results. You do that by clicking on Search Settings, scroll down. First, in order to change the number of results shown, you have to disable the Google Instant Search. And then you can say what number of results you want. And finally, you click Save Preferences. You're shown a message to which you click OK. And now when you come back, you'll notice that a search for any topic will produce 30 results. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful and now you can view more results for your searches. At that point you would click the stop button and Jing provides you with a recording of what you just recorded so that you can come in and look at it. By clicking play. Now it's recording. So I come back 
exactly. and you can see exactly what you recorded. And then you have a few options. If you have the professional version, you can even go up to YouTube directly from here or save it as an MP, MPEG-4. Now, the most common one, and I love this one, is share via screencast. Now, this is free for up to two gigabytes. So by clicking this one time, and by the way, you might give this a Google search, give it a name that's worthwhile, and then you click share via screencast. Now you'll see this little black meter come up and it shows you how much it's uploaded and it'll continue to upload this until it's done. Then it will copy to your clipboard the URL to watch that video so that it's easy to send it out to someone else. Now as the upload finishes, watch this little upload meter. You'll notice that it now changes to a message saying capture sent. Your capture has been sent and the link is ready to be pasted. So now you could come back to a browser and simply paste in the URL, at which point someone can click play. And now it's recording, so I'd come back and I'd say, this is good. Okay, so that's how you make a Jing tutorial. And what I'd like you to do is using Google Chrome, using the free version of Jing, create a tutorial showing me exactly what I've just shown you. So in other words, show me how you go into settings, how you change these values, you change the number of results shown, save your settings, and then conduct another search. Once you've got that finished, paste the link to that tutorial in the form below along with your other information so that I can know whether or not you're a good fit for the position I'm hiring for right now. Thank you.